been playing branded Espia for a while, and I think it's been like two and a half years. And obviously, I made a ton of deck profiles on this channel from different formats, from bestials to Nadir Servant to Grass, and obviously my Nationals winning profile. But I thought it would be pretty funny to react to my first ever branded deck profile on this channel. This can also help us take a look at what changed in like my setup, my appearance, my cards, and obviously the meta. How was branded Despia almost two and a half years ago? So let's react. So yeah, this profile is from almost exactly two years ago. It's called a new branded Despia profile plus combos. You get Despia deck profile. It has a lot of views, 20K views, 500 likes. It's not half bad. Um, and yeah, that, this is obviously before my Nationals, about a year before my Nationals win, something like that, even maybe eight months, but it's still the first actual one. You can look at how we, how different do we look, but he's a handsome guy. Let's take a look. How's it going, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm bringing you the, the last Dawn of Majesty branded playlist. list before Darkwing Based. Blast, which has a really, really interesting spice in it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button before we Make begin. sure you hit the thumb button. If you are the new thumbs here, also up check out my button. Twitter. Yes. Right over and check out the there. Twitter. A lot of cool photos, uploads, giveaways, news, everything. So yeah, we got the the old school border sleeves on the extra deck and the secret rare alubers. That's definitely a big one. And um, this was, I remember, I think it was just when people are beginning to play Ra's Disciple. So it's kind of late, to be honest you the combo to actually pulling this lock off and let's just dive the in lock, right man. into the deck profile so things have branded, changed is it still viable maybe i think darkwing blast is actually going to bring a lot of really important bestial stuff into this deck which is going to make it a little bit more powerful and this is before bestials and darkwing blast which is so impactful like darkwing blast not as potent hypernova but darkwing blast was the beginning of like the change the fact that you can get Lubelion off of Brand Fusion was just huge. I think you might have even Snow here. This is like Height of Tier Elements format just before Magnificent Mavens, I think, which is absolutely wild. A little bit more able to compete with the current meta, but this is the list as I'm Some playing it now nail before polish. Darkwing Blast, and there is a really, really interesting spice in there that really takes the ceiling of the deck a little bit higher if you can pull this off. And I'm going to show you, of course, at the end of the video how you can do that. So right. this list, I believe, has 47 main deck cards, which is a lot. It's not that much. My latest one was 46. Enjoying the amount of cards that this deck has. So I did, I did make some choices to cut certain cards. And I'm yapping in these videos, eh? I cut some of these to make this 40. It's really hard to play branded at 40 cards, just saying. But uh, yeah, maybe you can pull this off. That is still true. That is still very true. It's almost impossible to play branded 40 cards. I challenge you to find me a modern branded list that has 40 cards. You're probably not going to be able to. Just because the engine is so big and solid, but you still want a lot of non-engine. I think it comes from the fact that you need to side out non-engine for non-engine as much as possible. You never want to side out engine. Maybe in like going second scenarios, but I don't know. Alubers, we got the three, three Fallen of Allies. I think uh, since we're running Super Poly here, three Albas. Three Albas wasn't standard, I think, in the in back in the day. I think it was mostly two. I think this was the first list that were really playing three Albas because think about this. I'm saying here in this profile that it's because of Super Poly, but think about the fact that today you have, you're using Titanic Light a lot, you're using Sanctifier a lot, Rindbrum hasn't come out yet, and Quem that all make Albaz and the fusion effect so much better that now you use it for its own effect so much, but back in the day it was just fusion material. So it was it was a brick and you didn't play fusion deployment because Cartesia, rather, Granginol wasn't out yet. So it's such a different deck. Albaz is really important. Again, we're also playing a Lord of Darkness, which Camera is flickering. in the uh, spell portion of this video. So uh, maximizing on our darks. We're only playing two tragedy. This was one of the cards that I decided to cut for a different card that I'm going to show. Okay. Two tragedy is like a random number, but I'm, I'm suspecting that we are playing maybe a lore. Just because it was one of the, the only cards that you can actually play that was that was good in this deck. So this was crucial because your only starter was Alubar. It was Alubar opening bust and three branch fusion. Of so I think this is okay. 
sometimes you just open too many duplicates of the same stuff that gets you the same thing so i think that's the same thing today you sometimes just open too many normal summons i think tragedy 2 is gonna be fine then we got some despia one-offs we got the dramaturge and uh, this is a really good game closer in my opinion and also it's such a good card to be honest and 3000 body is is incredible the board and they summon kirkalos so you just negate it immediately so they do want to get rid of it before so it's an extra negate which is good um this being comedy the reason i decided to go back to playing comedy is because of the this card is really unplayable but i did once dodge a skill drain with this card i did like lubelion chain link one with comedy to play around like imperm and stuff because that that's what it does it tributes as a quick effect and as cost um when it's in the graveyard it tributes a fusion monster to the summon itself so you dodge hand traps and stuff so it was like chain one lubelion chain two skill drain chain three comedy tributed it resolves in the grave the amount of hand traps that are coming back into the game and specifically People are not playing Ash Blossom as much, but they are playing Imperm Veiler me. and other negates yeah, that there we go. comedy helps you just evade, basically, from the graveyard. So you can send this instead of tragedy, a good reason. and then when your fusion monster gets negated by Imperm or Veiler, you just tribute it as a quick effect and it dodges. So I really like comedy for that reason. We're playing Albion, which is really good and standard. We're playing Ad Libidum, which is basically the hard... Ad Libidum is still incredible. I mean, people are still playing at Libidum, and now we realize that Shrouded is just inc insane. I think it was f fine. You didn't even need to play it back then, but now, I think now with Retribution and so much Graveyard Interaction and like this plus Quam, High Spears, which we didn't play back then. And then, of course, the fact that it's... You guys forget that this is Foolish plus Upstart. This card is busted. Part of this deck. We are playing Ecclesia as our light target. I really like this card. A lot of people... That's pretty modern. People gave me a lot of crap for playing this, but I still stand behind it. We don't have snow anymore, so we need an actual light target for when we don't want to go into the combo that I'll show you in the, in the next portion of this video. I think Ecclesia puts that extra pressure on your opponent, summoning the Fallen of Albas from deck and returning to the hand at the end phase. Uh, I think Ecclesia at one is... I think this card is still broken, but the fact is that we didn't use Fallen Valbaz like we do today, like as a fusion, as the fusion effect. So it was basically find a light. Maybe this was after Snow got banned. So before that, you would usually just play Snow because you needed a light target. But what you did play instead was this card. It's fine. And then we have this very ugly <laughs> proxy that I made. My printer is really, really messed up and you can't even read the card. Okay, here's the story about this card. Why does it look like shit? That's what I'm that's what I'm referring to. So this card, obviously you know why it's been played. Branded Expulsion was already legal. This is post power of the elements. You can summon Ra's Disciple to your opponent's side of the field with expulsion. They cannot special summon monsters, right? That's it. They cannot tribute this card. They cannot tr tribute to summon over it, and that's it. it just, they, basically it's pop it. Um just worse. Now, the funny story is that this was a common in um, I think this was a common in Legendary Duelist 7 or something like that. I have a video of the channel where I'm opening a box that I had lying around. The the Ra and Bakura, I think it was Legendary Duelist. I'm opening a box to get that common for a tournament. And I opened the entire box and the only common that I didn't get is, is this one. So I open a box that's like $50, $60. Maybe today it's even more because it has the Ghost Rare raw in it i open it and it's not there it was the most depressing box opening so i had to print this and it was just ugly and yeah but this is going to be the proxy for this video so bear with me ra's disciple is a light fairy monster level four so what this it's card basically fairy. says is that you cannot special summon yeah. monsters the owner we of know why we cannot play, special play uh, no hand traps so we have dd crow uh which is really good in this format hand traps. and of course nibiru which is also a light target and an amazing this was also a light target that's true this was actually played because you can summon titanic Lord with it but i don't think we played titanic Lord here amazing card in and of itself so light and dark hand traps i think these are really really solid Those in are good. this deck so before it's essentially tier laments like danger tier format before darkwing blast i think it's before magnificent mavens um october 6th so yeah it's like 
Nibiru is just like like light and Didi Crow is good because Didi Crow is like against tier before Beast steals. Obviously, you would wanna you would wanna play that. To fight for Patrick, I decided to cut this down a little bit because you end up sometimes breaking on too I mean, many of these in insane. the same hand, and you can't really resolve all, all of them, and you stay yep. kind of with like dead cards in your hand. So I think two and two. We'll try this for now, and then for the spells, we have of course three. Where's the poly? Branded fusion. Nothing to say there. Three opening and two branded in red. I think. Yeah, we were playing two branded in red because there was just nothing to to set. And the only good plays were Guardian Chimera. Just like, make a Mirror Jade, set up Guardian Chimera with that Libidum, and you just need this for the grind. This is standard. These are the correct ratios, in my opinion. Still haven't gotten okay. my hands on the high rarity stuff, but it's definitely on the way. Then we're playing two okay, polymerization the for this package, of course. I think two is actually fine, and I think playing two, two, and two is, is okay. You don't want to draw into, like today in, in Chimera, you can recycle the poly so you can activate the third patchwork but back then you might have gotten stuck with like a patchwork i think it's fine edge of chain was always an insane discard for opening and poly in this deck when you had so little options to fuse it was so good and two allure of darkness two. just for Bro, that play three. additional draw power Stop. then we are playing three uh wait where's Mercurier Kit. Where's Mercurier? Do we not play Branded Lost? This is um six board hell? breakers, three super polymerization, and three forbidden droplet. I think Droplet is modern. I mean I'm playing Droplet and Branded today. Yeah, I'm playing Droplet and Branded today. Super Poly, also insane. This was post Garura, so you had room in the extra deck because Rinburm is not out, Grand is not out, Sanctifier is not out. Uh, nobody's playing Furious, so yeah. I think this is basically these are solid. So this is like forty-seven cards: three Droplet, three Nibiru, three Super Poly, three Diddy Crow. This deck is great. One of the only decks that can Probably actually run Droplet one. successfully. You can enable uh -huh. your Brandon in red if you're sending Albaz or Alubert to the graveyard with this. You can trigger your Edge and Chain with this. Kind of innovative. And I think this is still honest, really like important um, piece for this deck and able to break board. Write it in the comments if you want me to take... I mean, obviously, I can't play three Branded Fusion, but do I play this in Locals and film it? That would be insane. Or it's more efficiently. Then for the one-offs, we list. have Branded no Lost, Cartesia. which I oh, there think we go, there we go, there we go. is cuttable. I think Branded Lost, which I think is cuttable, is insane, bro. I mean, honestly, this card does nothing, but man, you don't even know what's waiting for you with Cartesia. Like, this and Cartesia is just like, uh, it's FTKs, man. And where's the Mercurier, dude? I think this ends up not doing no a Mercurier. lot. It does plus you, and it does, it does work amazingly when you get to resolve it. But yeah. sometimes it's just kind of dead in your hand. And you there's more options to fuse these days, I think. Uh, even though we're at one branded fusion, so I think it's fine. Want to see something else that can actually start a combo? So branded loss, take it as it is. Foolish burial again. This is. Solid starter. A bit win more. Do we play to get that tragedy to the graveyard? Because I'm playing two. I felt that Foolish Burial was um, important for this deck, I suppose. Then we have the theater. No. We have Called by the Grave. We have uh, Branded Banishment, which... Branded Banishment was insane back then because you were playing against Dark Fusion decks. This uh, Until Bestials and Shufflers that absolutely destroyed this card, right? Today, it's a little bit back with um, Light and Dark and Dragon Lord. Call by is great. Despia Theater of the Branded is like a pseudo Cartesia, right? You can search it. You can proc it every turn to Fusion Summon. The card was good. The card was honestly really good. But Banishment was really good when it came out. And then it just became unplayable because of Bestials and Shufflers. I'm thinking about playing two overall. One in the side and one in the main one deck. One Banishment this card for the mirrors because it wins the mirrors. And the deck was really good back then. Few... Put this on the field against tier elements, they automatically lose. So you can just banish their monsters okay. to fusion summon a monster of your own. All right. They don't get to trigger their effects. That's and true. this is super strong right now. A lot of the time when I I'm agree. playing. In that format, it was a really good pick. I'm actually going for this line instead of branded in red, just because this is so much more impactful. And especially with Garura in the game now, you can actually You cannot summon Garura off of this. This is only level H or eight or higher. I still make these mistakes. 
every single time I make a video. If you use any deck that has the same types and attributes, no, just make the Rura. Just won't. get rid of two monsters on their board. So no, I think you cannot. this but it's is still a really key component. And then we, of course, have branded Expulsion with banned card alert. This card was insane. They need to do the same to Sanctifier, unfortunately. Which is the enabler for the combo that this deck does. If you don't know what this card do, you can also check out my Scythelock video that, that I made previously, but this is a card out. Oh yeah, you, we used to Scythelock people. There's a Scythelock video on my channel. You can Scythelock with this deck the same way you do with Rise Disciple. That's crazy. Tribute to fusion monster targets you non-fusion monsters that are banished and or in either graveyard. So good, man. You can special summon both to your field instead. Yeah, of this card is broken. Power of the Elements. That basically says you can tribute one fusion monster and target two non-fusions that are either banished or in the graveyard. Now, we're getting close to the both extra them, deck. I'm really curious about field. that. If you tribute an Albus fusion monster. After Bologna, I'm taking this deck to locals. Besides the fact, of course, that I can't use branded expulsion. You can summon both to your field. Which kind of sucks. This is not There's what no we're doing. What we're basically summon the trying disciple. to do is... Tribute fusion monster to give our opponent the Ra's Disciple. And yes, then yes, they can yes. just not special summon monsters at all. Um, and this basically locks them out of the game. Not 100% good against decks like Flandries, but most decks gets locked out of their entire... And Flandries was definitely a thing back then. ...engine when you resolve this card against them. So this is the bread and butter of the deck. And let's jump into the extra deck okay, and then okay. show you I'm the combo. I'm interested to see that. The extra deck is really tight, and I'm still kind of playing... It's really tight. Dude, there's half of the extra deck missing. Like, half. You don't need to play any of these cards. Three Albion, that was... Around the that ratios to see what's actually correct, but we have three Albion, two Lobelion, two Mirror. This was the structure deck ratios. Um, eventually, we would still play two. Funny enough, we would still play two Lobelion with Kastra. Sometimes you would play two because Kastra sucked and they banished things from your extra deck. And this was obviously a good card, and it was the only card that you can play under Shifter, so they would banish it for you because you summoned Dragoon off of this. And then three Albion, the Branded Dragon, just because. You know, it's the best, right? It's just the best cost. Here, Jade. And you didn't really have anything Tumor else. Tumor Scrade, which is still... Tumor Scrade, it's cancer. It's really good. Still very, very good. We're playing the one Guardian Chimera. One Guardian Chimera is... I know, I know I had two, but it's weird because you shouldn't be playing two in this deck. You're playing two in red. So why aren't you playing, like, two Guardian Chimera? It's, it's the best card of the deck. We're playing the Alba Lanatus because dragons are sort of still a thing we'll see they weren't really a thing but they became a thing after obviously bestials came out even though the deck became like so power corrupt in that format but it was a new card we wanted to play it, it was a cool cool fusion right if this has to stick Contact around fuse um but uh, this could possibly this has a good combo with like back like back then the dragon link was still a deck like they just got borland a few months back and they had Savage and everything, and then the Bistials came out and it became a really good deck, and then it won Worlds, yeah. So then, back then, you would have a combo where you would make like a Quertus. Quertus make the attack of Borland Dragon zero, and then Alba Lendidus attack into it like four times. You shuffle back materials, it's so good. Possibly um, be taken out for Guardian Chimera uh, for the second one, but uh, a lot of times when I'm playing against like Dragon decks, I feel bad not having this when I really need it's true. it. So this is it's why true. it's here. Then we have the you one have Quiritus, the we have the Dragon Spelia, Mud Dragon, and Garura. Both of these such a simple extra deck to be honest. It's for super paramilization. And of course, um, Dragon Spelia is such a good card on its own. So let's jump into the combo. Well, the well I think combo we might basically the combo for this, um, just because we don't need to see the combo, but I think the deck itself um, like 12 non-engine in 47 cards is kind of a lot, to be honest. It's like a quarter of the deck. I'm really interested to see if you guys want me to build this deck. Like, obviously, without... I'm not going to be allowed to play Expulsion because it's banned. But I will have to play Ra's Disciple because it's in the deck list. And uh, there's no side deck here. So I might even play without a side deck. Let me know in the comments below if you do want me to do that. That would be hilarious. This was so funny to react to. Uh, if you want me to react to more things, leave them down in the comments and I will react to them. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.